Hey guys, and welcome to vlog 37, I think. Now, before I start this episode properly, you can see in the background over here, I actually have my mic. Finally, and we're going to be unboxing this in this episode. Um, first thing I'd like to say is that I'm very sorry about the last episode. Very excited about the camera. Uh, I'll show off some of the, you know, like, things to come, like London, New York, things like that, um, and I didn't stick too much to what I was saying, uh, but in general, very happy with the camera, and that was more of an announcement vlog and initial impressions, I think I put in the title, um, to that, to the camera. So, I'm going to get on with this episode, but um, if you're thinking the last episode of clickbait, it's not just... This, you know, like, my next episode, I think, is going to be, like, my new vlogging setups explaining what camera this is and what I'm using. Uh, not, like, a full-out, you know, like, equipment thing again, because I've done a few of these. Um, but basically what my new specific vlogging setups is, so not, like, what the editing side of things is, just vlogging in general. Um, and very specific to vlogging. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get right into this and open up the road video mic go. Another brief thing, just just very quickly before we start, I would like to just say that the poster somewhere around there, my Pokemon poster, that other Pokemon poster, and my curtains, which oh my goodness, that's bright, my uh, curtains, which are I admit very babyish and half destroyed, like down the sides here and everything. I am getting new ones soon, um, but. I have completely redone my bedroom, like, I had so much stuff on there before, and now it's like, I mean, there's a little bit cluttered around there, but it's, you know, snacks, Pringles, yay. Uh, so, I've cleaned up a lot, uh, I used to just have stuff all over the back of my door, so everything's a little bit cleaner, I just, like, dump stuff down there, um, and, yeah, my room's a little bit cleaner than it was before, but I am looking at getting new curtains, and sorting out the post situation. Just to make my room a little bit more fitting to me, maybe like something to YouTube. Um, but yeah, thought I'd just mention that, so don't like go down in the comment section and tell me i am got crap stuff in my bedroom. So yeah, let's get right into the opening. Okay, so, road video might go, ready to go on my camera, my DSLR, which I will just pull out my baggie here. I have my bag already packed, ready to go up to London, um, yay. So, uh, yeah, my camera, not, not even getting in the shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, Canon 200D SL2, known as in the US, 200D internationally. Um, the sound quality, I will admit, isn't great on it, which is why I got the Rode Video Mic Go, which obviously shotgun mic, very vloggy, setup y. About 50 quid, maybe exactly 50 quid on Amazon. Let's open it up! Uh, I haven't, I've been waiting off three days to open this now, and oh come on, I need scissors! Good job I have scissors in this room now. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting off three days to get this open because I needed my room sorted out before I started filming this. It looked like a bomb had just dropped in it when I started considering to open this. So I got my room sorted out. Now I can actually film in here. Apparently I can't even get this undone. This stupidly... Oh my goodness. Wow me. Go me! I can't even get sellotape undone. Uh, yeah, my room just looked like a bombshell. So I kind of cleaned it up. And now it looks better. Yay! Um, what the heck is going on here? I can't get the sellotape off to save my life. Probably about to cut myself on some scissors, which will be lovely. By the way, there is going to be very large amounts of camera shake. Um, in one of my future episodes, while I get this done, I'll just like have a little story time. Uh, in one of my future episodes, I am going to be doing a kind of counterfeit Joby type thingy. Um, I bought a Joby. What the heck is going on? Uh, a Joby in London. Uh, I went up to London on a, like a school thing. Bought a Joby. Uh, happy with it at first, everything's fine, I'm still happy with it, but it is counterfeit, just to say. So I will do a video on that, on how to put counterfeit jobies and stuff like that, so look out for that in the future. That's why I have camera shake on it. The uh, Joby that I had originally anyway for smartphones, um, I'm using 
now for my phone only. Uh, and I'm using this one for my camera, as you can tell. But camera shake on it because it's very small and for very large devices. Uh, right, so before I go into actually opening the mic, I've got it open now. Um, here's like the box design. I mean, not too interesting. DSLR, Rode. It's already seen the front, I think. Uh, Rode view might go. Stuff on the sound. Basically, this is just blah, 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 blah. Lots of stuff on the back. You don't want to see that. If you do, comment. But um, frankly, I don't think you do. Taking the plastic off it. Pulling the lovely shotgun mic out. I would be showing this, but there's so much packaging it's retarded. So, road, finally, yay! Um, I need to get this fitted on my camera ASAP. One of the advantages, I really hope I am right with this. Oh my goodness, that feels so cool. Uh, one of the advantages to getting this mic as opposed to anything else, that I'm gonna stand over there for a second, is that I don't think it takes batteries because all the other like road, or well, most of the road, I don't know, fully road properly. They take batteries, um, and I don't think this one is, because it's Go, it's like plug in and go, I think the actual motto is, or slogan. So, that's one of the quick ways I got it, like, the reasons I got it for is being quick and stuff. Silicon pouch. Uh, fun. Right, pulling stuff out of here. Right, so, I'm sure you've seen this before, in like a little food baggy sort of thing. Um... People having vlogging cameras with like red cables and stuff attached to them. That's from this. So I'm presuming this plugs in just to the back of the camera. My openings aren't very good. Um, I will just admit right now I'm awful at opening packaging. Whenever I get a letter, it just tears apart like within a million seconds. After I actually get it open, which then it looks like some rat's been at it. Uh, yeah, the box now looks absolutely obliterated after getting that open. Uh, Yay, fun, stretchy cables and stuff. Okay, so that plugs into there. I'm presuming now this plugs into the camera. I'm trying to get this over as quickly as possible because I'm rushing slightly. Where's the camera? There. Right. Now, I need to make sure I get this on properly so I don't, like, let it fall off. Uh, let's give this a go. So, I think that slots into there. I'm hoping I'm right. <laughs> don't want stuff to be falling off my camera. Okay, does that? No, no, come on. Really, I think I've done this wrong or something. I've done something wrong. I know I've done that wrong. I gotta plug the shotgun on mic, oh, <laughs> the shotgun mic on backwards because I'm an idiot. Uh, I want to get this attached to the camera, um, and I'll be back shortly. Um, apparently, I'm an idiot and can't attach anything to anything. Uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Okay, I fixed the thingy to the camera i have been an idiot this entire time been stressed okay this is why i don't do good box opening this is because i'm always stressed i've either got the wrong a got the wrong part or b i am not going to do well on camera fitting it because i'm an idiot and attaching stuff to technical stuff and doing stuff basically i'm self-sufficient when i haven't got the pressure of time what i mean uh yeah so i managed to fit it on uh i thought it this part in here, I'll try and show you. I thought that in like the kind of metal-y piece there, I thought the mic just clicked in and you know, clicked and bam. Basically, I have to screw this thing down from there, which is just, just, just easy, but I didn't think you had to do it. I thought that had to be up there to stop it shaking or something. That's why it took me five minutes to attach this to the camera. I will know for next time. Bear in mind, I've never used a DSLR or a shotgun mic or anything. So, I'm a newbie to this, so don't... Just, just... No. Right, um, so, I'm going to attach this up to my tripod, and we shall give this a little test, with and without the mic, because it's a Rode video mic. Go! I'm hoping that all I need to do is to turn on the camera, record, and as I'm recording, pull out the mic, so that I don't need to stop recording, pull out mics and stuff, and then do it. We'll see how this goes. Let's get over the test footage. Okay, so although I'm a bit of a noob with the actual camera and the like proper technicalities of it, this is actually one of the easier cameras to use in the Canon range. Um, last episode was more of the kind of reviewing or first initial thoughts of the camera, but last episode, this episode, especially the mic, uh, but a little bit of the camera, and especially more next episode because I would have done more video footage 
he's going to be kind of having a look at the new mic, the whole new setup, and particularly next episode, kind of reviewing the setup, so including my old setup uh, with the Nikon Coolpix L27 and the new gimbal that I got in London, which I'll explain next episode. Um, and the gimbal for my phone, the non-counterfeit Joby. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot more of that uh, for the next, you know, vlog. And then London will be after that. And then, I don't know what else after that. I certainly New York soon. Um, but, yeah, although I'm a newbie with, like, but attach actually attaching the mic, uh, I kind of know what I'm doing with this whole camera. Um, I know you're not supposed to look at the kind of monitor over here because I've got a flip out screen so I wish you could see this like the whole vlogging setup we'll have a look at that next episode um, but this camera's got a time lapse mode on as I mentioned last episode uh, so I'll probably get a time lapse for the end of the video but along with time lapses I've been doing a lot of photography and stuff uh, with this camera um, getting used to it and stuff like that so pretty good um, now as I've been talking, I've had the mic in, so kind of just going over what I was going to go over anyway, while reviewing the mic, initial thoughts, what I think of it. Um, I have listened to myself back once, uh, just doing a brief little test, but this is more of a just showing you sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to pull out the mic now, and you'll hear it without the mic. There will be a lot of camera hiss, uh, as I do warn for the 200D. Reattaching it, as I did the last time, was awful, so I'm going to try and cut that out. Uh, but yeah, here is what it's like without the mic. You can hear a lot more camera hiss, it's a lot more fuzzy, you can't really tell. I mean, it's more surround sound, um, but for vlogging, although that's kind of good, you want more attention to you, and with the on onboard mic, that isn't as good. So now I'm gonna reattach the actual Rode video mic. I think I know what I'm doing now. I keep tapping the screen when I go to do it as well, because, you know, I do. Okay. Also, Alongside me putting back the mic, I'd like to say, if you can keep on hearing like a g g g g g g g thing, uh, that's the lens like readjusting. So if I like, I'll tap somewhere on the screen now as I'm looking at the monitor. I'll tap somewhere on the screen. You can hear that noise there, and then it's just readjusting my face now. Um, you can you saw it going in and out of focus. That's it readjusting the lens. So I've got I've got it the same zoom, so I can zoom right in. Lovely pimple on my forehead and then back out again um, but depending on how far in or far out and what I'm focusing on it will readjust like the front of the lens um, to help me out a little bit the autofocus on this is amazing I love Canon autofocus it is just fact the best um, so yeah we're going to be looking at a lot more at the vlogging setup next episode I'll go out and shoot a time lapse somewhere um, later on and then that will kind of conclude this vlog and then next episode we'll look as I said look more at the vlogging setup um, but yeah in general initial thoughts of the mic amazing camera amazing my tripod i can't really say about anyway because i've already done that um and also something else i'll be going over next episode is i also bought usb charging uh lpe17 batteries two of them uh alongside the one that's already in the camera so two extra camera batteries and a, a, a usb charger i attached it to one of my other cables um i've also got this which is like the Stop readjusting, what are you focusing on? <laughs> uh, I've got the like end of the battery. I was just showing you there. Uh, that's like to cover up the bit that you shouldn't touch. The electrical part that goes into the camera. So that's stopped that happening. And then I've also got the original charger that came with the camera. That's for the battery that's in there, the standard Canon one. And I got the other ones from Amazon. Um, I'm just trying to get the, oh there it is cable uh, it's a different type of cable it's kind of the one that you would use on like a shaving thing i think something like that the one time i wanted to focus yeah so we go autofocus amazing um yeah that that kind of cable that fits into the other one but i'm gonna go around with the usb one because it's like 10 times easier and everything runs on usb now so yay um so yeah very happy and we'll review everything in the next episode very happy with the vlogging setup. Okay, so just before I do the time lapse, which I'm just going to set up now, should be filming, yeah. Uh, so I've been 
waiting to do uh, a time lapse on this for a little while and I said to you earlier on that I'd do one at the end of the video. I'm testing out the camera at the moment um, for like light and everything at the moment. Sun and as I said in the camera vlog 14 you can see this streak which is obnoxiously annoying when it goes to a direct light source. So I'm testing out this camera at filming time ups there. So I tell the camera how many shots to do and it goes down into a certain amount of time. Uh, theoretically it can shoot up to 14,996 days worth of footage and time lapse that into I can't remember exactly how many days um, and then you'd edit that down like for a movie or something um, but I would never do that but theoretically I could um, so I was just really going to show you the kind of thing I'm saying so at the moment it is ridiculously sunny so this camera does not want to focus on anything but just about there on the screen you can see the 242 shots still to go I've got an interval of one second between each shot and at the end it will time up that down to about 12 seconds and um, it's going to shoot for about five minutes. So I'm just going to show you that and we'll cut through to the time lapse. And I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast.